Ahead of the storm, some animals were taken out of harm's way and brought here to Middle Tennessee. Julia Palazzo is live now in Lebanon where they were brought here to safety, Julia. That's right. The executive director of the Animal Corps, Rescue Corps, he just took himself in a van, drove the eight plus hours to Baton Rouge and brought several animals back here to be taken care of by volunteers. And right now they are inside of their facility here on Toshiba Drive in Lebanon. And the organization did give us some video of when the executive director arrived late yesterday, unloading those animals off of a van. The Companion Animal Alliance urgently needed help to evacuate 15 homeless dogs and four cats since they were right in the storm's path. ARC's executive director, Tim Woodward, tells me it was unbelievable to see the bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic leaving the state. He was just ahead of the storm the entire way back to Lebanon. All of them were already waiting to be adopted. Vets here will check them out again, and they will also go through a behavioral analysis. ARC frequently responds to disasters, so local organizations have room to assist animals who will be newly displaced by the disaster. What we do is we try to go in either ahead of the storm or right after the storm and clear animals that were already available for adoption or homeless. And then that way the shelter's there, there's less pressure on them, and they can pull in animals that have gotten lost or displaced by the storm. Now, once each animal does undergo that behavioral analysis and gets all checked out and ready to go, they will be taken to different partners all across the country and will hopefully be adopted within the next couple of weeks. Reporting live in Lebanon, Julia Palazzo, News 2.